Well, this is not a spring chicken. If you are thinking the holidays because it's summer, well, there's one thing you're not getting the holiday from, and that is President Obama has managed to piss off everybody in this country. You're thinking, how in the world could that be possible? Well, take it from, our, yes, number one, the troop withdrawal. Number two, depleting the strategic oil reserves. You're thinking, hmm. Yes, because he doesn't want us to be dependent on foreign oil and wants to push us towards green energy. And, oh, what was the third one? Uh, he told everybody in the United oh. States House and Senate that this is the war in Libya is a war for oil. Oh, that's right. And, of course, and then the last one is no more drilling. Hmm. Exactly where were we getting that power from? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And the main blunder this morning from Obama? Oh, God, they said that last night they were talking impeachment. Today they're screaming impeachment because this man has basically turned the whole world upside down this morning. As John McCain and Senator Kerry are trying to get Congress to support a resolution to make what he's doing legal, he decides to tell the world this is a war for oil. You know, they were trying to actually help him. I know, they figured that that's why Mary Jane Obama's out, because you must be, they're wondering, well, put it this way, a, pre, a predominant member of the Democratic Party. It's very liberal. A very liberal said he wants to know what this man is on. He said, we're trying to save his ass, and he pulls this stunt. And, you know, we're going to, you know, we're not going to allow drilling in our country as long as I'm president, which means he's catering to the left. Of course, this morning he collapsed the stock market. He collapsed the markets all over the world. Everybody in the world is now draining their strategic reserves. He drove the cost of oil down worldwide. The only, you know why it's going down worldwide? Because they're not buying it. Mm -hmm. the, they, they, nobody has any money. That's why they're not purchasing oil. So, and like I said, the one guy said, well, he can, you know, he can tie the price back down to 350 a gallon. It won't make any difference. It's already been done. Nobody's going anywhere this summer. Oh. And, you know, and then that was just half of it. I mean, you know, the guy last night, you know, he, he, he pissed off the left because the left wanted more than 10,000 troops now. They wanted all the surge troops and they wanted everybody out by the election. That made him angry. The people on the right said, you're gonna, we're going to have to go back in and clean up this mess because it is now your war, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you talk about a guy that, you know, the, they said that the polls were all, I mean, basically Michelle Bachman can beat him for president now. Ooh. Well, that's why scared him when Michelle Bachman can beat him. Ooh. And Obama couldn't get card checked for the unions that Congre um, through Congress, so he is just doing it in the NLRB. Yeah, and the House of Representatives is getting ready to shut off the NLRB's funds, which he also somehow didn't see that was going to happen, that they would shut off the funding to the organization that is making the rules that is going to allow you to have a union on a quick vote of the people. They said there will be no chance for the company to rebuttal. It will be an automatic vote to be a union, which is great. Are you serious? Yeah, they said it basically bypasses the, the, the voting process and for all practical purposes certifies you as a union immediately. With, with only 30% of the people voting, you can become a full-fledged union now, according to the Obama people. So which, much for majority. So what happens is he pissed off the business community, the business Again. community, and it gets worse. I mean, the, de he, the Democrats went to Obama this morning before he made all these other announcements about the oil and all this stuff, and they told him the only only program that they, they they don't they don't uh, go along with deficit reduction. What they plan to do is to grow out of the problem. They're going to create green jobs, infrastructure jobs, and through taxation of businesses, will grow us out of the deficit problem. And, uh, well, you can figure out what businesses thought about that this morning also. Well, you know, he's done so many, we could easily do a top ten of what things happened overnight. Well, they don't know where this guy's mind is. I mean, they, they said they think it's on... He got scared of a poll that said, uh, of uh, one of their polls that said, who's, nobody's going to elect Michelle Bachman. And they said, now they're putting names on Republicans that can beat him and is scaring him. Ooh. Yeah. And Obama's rating falling like a rock because of the damage to the economy that Bush and the Republicans caused. That was his response last night across the board. I mean, every Democrat, 
George Bush and the Republicans dug us into such a deep hole that we had to do all of this spending to get us out. You know, now what hole did he dig us into? Uh, he, he said unemployment was like 6 9%. The national debt was uh, $5 trillion less. We didn't have massive mandates on people's businesses. We didn't have orders on taking over their life. We didn't have more people own their homes than they do now. He wanted them. Well, George Bush and the Republicans caused this problem. And what we didn't have, you know, people actually, George Bush and the Republicans caused this problem. That was, you know, that, that was the response to everything. George Bush and the Republicans dug this hole so deep that the president is unable to get out of it without more spending. Um, but George Bush and the Republicans is what he's running against. And Obama managed to piss off the very people he was trying to get on his side over Afghanistan. Yeah, he, he, they didn't want 10,000 by the, the by, you know, next month. They wanted 30,000 and they wanted all of them out by 212. And he didn't give them that because uh, there's a problem. Democrats have a history of running from the field of battle. Mm -hmm. They have a tremendous history of running from the field of battle. They start, they get... This is Obama's war, folks. He took it completely and made it his. He didn't think he didn't like the way things were going, so he's going to pull out and fire missiles into everybody. The uh, Pakistanis have filed charges against. He's, this man is going to be arrested when he get. I mean, there's going to be nowhere in the world you, that he can go that there's not going to be a warrant out for his arrest when he gets out of the presidency because of war crimes. George Bush did not indiscriminately fire missiles into people's villages like Obama does. Former Seattle U.S. Attorney pushes pot legalization. I know, because we can make money off of it. Okay, uh, marijuana produces smoke, and the secondhand smoke from marijuana is a heck of a lot worse than the secondhand smoke from cigarettes. Oh, it is? Oh, God, well, uh, basically, it, okay, it's a, it, it, it's a sedative. Uh, you want to make somebody, okay, how about a woman that's having a baby and you want to give her a sedative but she smells the smoke. How about the guy that's driving the train, oh. he smells the smoke. What, and there's no laws against using marijuana on, uh, on public transportation. Oh, that's true. Yeah, what about the airplane that's going to crash because the pilot was on, uh, had dealt with secondhand smoke before he got on the plane and drove, flew it. So, that, you know, well it's harmless. Well it's harmless until the first person gets killed. Uh -huh. That's why Mary Jane Obama is out. Ooh, and Pulitzer Prize winner Barry says he's an illegal immigrant. You toss his ass out of the country. Just because he's won a Pulitzer Prize, he's also announced that he's also gay and is supporting gay marriage in the country, which basically, you, he said, how can you tell it's a supporter of Obama? Because they do absolutely everything you could do wrong. You know, they might, they were all right with the illegal alien bit. And then he said he's gay and the Latinos do not like gay people. Mm -hmm. They do not approve of gay marriage. And he is gay and he supports gay marriage, so. Oh. So he, that, the guy that's their spokesman, basically, he went down the, in flames. Okay, who was he the spokesman for? The, 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 the spokesman for the, uh, the uh, Latinos, the illegal aliens staying in the country, the, you know, the oh. amnesty program. Yeah, that would change if you had. Well, it's just the last 24 hours, they've just made one stupid thing after another. Place. What, it came out, what, on a, a Wednesday to Thursday? Well, huh? Here's a good one. Another one. How can you tell that it was a Democrat that filled out a survey form, you know, supporting the president? How? Well, when they say, I'm leaning on the fence, but the problem is that this, this man... Did, has done such a great job getting us out of the hole that George Bush and the Republicans dug for us. Oh, that, that's the first clue. Yeah, you might think that he's a liberal Democrat, folks. And questions and answers about Greek debt. They're not going to pay it. They're basically going to shut down the entire country next week. Uh, they're going to basically shut down all air flights in, all shipping in and out, all trains, all cars, to show that they're not going to bow down to... You, I know you're going to hate to hear this word. They're not going to bow down to the will of George Bush and the Republicans. Ooh, even the Greeks? Even the Greeks are not going to bow down to the will of George Bush and the Republicans. Who's president? Obama is, but Obama's a socialist. Uh, and Sarah Palin shoots down reports she's canceling her bus tour. It's, the bus tour only was to do with plugging her book, folks. They had this weird idea it was a campaign trip. No. She was plugging her book. 
It was a book tour. Uh, and you don't, the bus goes out when they, when, okay, this, this, she takes the bus to the area where they're doing the book sales, where she got, where she's going to sign the thing. She gets out, people can see her bus going down the road. They follow her, they buy the books. It's a, it's a PR thing. It, I know, but yeah. you know that obviously she doesn't think. Oh, oh, oh! Here we got to go. Mary Jane Obama found out the bad news. She's only ten points behind him in the polls now. She's not even running. <laughs> Anna Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, yeah. That, okay, okay. If you continually do the same stupid thing over and over and over again, you're obviously a Democrat. <laughs>